Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is January 24th, 2016, and we're in Bluffton in Hampton Lake. And we're in the Arbors section of Hampton Lake today to see this Cahavnanian home, the Donegal Loft. It's just been finished. We're going to walk through it, uh, talk about it, talk about the opportunities here in the Arbors, and see if this home or one of the other Cahavnanian models here in the Arbors could be for you. Before we walk through, we'll just take a look around the neighborhood. This is a small little enclave of homes, which has been a huge home run for Cahavnanian and a very, very popular um, offering of homes. Uh, I'll tell you why I'm saying that. Uh, they just have a total of 32 lots in this neighborhood. And after only six months at it, they have about 17 lots left. So about half of them have been sold in just six months. It looks like we'll have a complete build out in 2016. There are five models each with at least three elevations. They have the Athens Loft over there, that one with the Casita, which is the little separate house or office to the left. Great for a mother-in-law suite or uh, an office, which some people come to me and uh, say that they want. To the left there, that is the Capri Loft model. And over here, another Athens loft with the stone facing. And to the right of that, we have another Athens model with a loft. It just goes to show you how the different elevations make the homes totally different in their appearance. Uh, there's really no two homes that are alike. Well, more about all of this as we go. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D. E-S-C-H, and my company is Go Gated Realty, and I'm the Gated Community Specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks, and I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty. Well, Hampton Lake is a gated community, and it is an award-winning community that is enormously popular for people looking for upscale homes, upscale amenities. We're talking about a lake community with a 165 acre lake, navigable lake. Um, when you talk about Hampton Lake, you're talking about homes that range from right here in the arbors. So this is your starting point in the mid 300 range. And they go right up to about $700,000 here in Hampton Lake today. This according to our multiple listing service, which by the way, uh, requires a disclaimer that you're not relying on this information from MLS for any buying decision, but the average home according to MLS is just a little bit more than 500,000 in Hampton Lake today. Well, here we are at the starting price uh, in the mid threes and I'm showing you this home as a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. I don't work for Cahavnanian Homes. I don't work for Hampton Lake Realty. Uh, this home is listed with Hampton Lake Realty or the models in this neighborhood are. Uh, this one is sold. We're seeing it as a, uh, an example of what the Donegal Loft model is. And if you like it, well, we can build one for you. But I don't work for Hampton Lake Realty. I work for you, ladies and gentlemen, as a buyer's agent. More about that as we go. Back to this home, the Donegal Loft. Well, we have a uh, two-car garage and a uh, concrete driveway, carriage-style garage door with the windows above that bring light into your garage. You have a choice of facings and elevations. In this case, they have a brick facing has kind of a country elevation. These are kind of what I would call cottage style homes. Notice the craftsman pillars. It's kind of a low country cottage farm style home, but make no mistake about it. It has the latest and greatest 
uh, popular architecture, uh, both inside and out, and of course the building materials. We have a hardy plank exterior, which is the concrete fiberboard, which is the state-of-the-art building on the fine homes in the area. We have a covered front porch with some uh, real nice finishes. Kehovnanian uh, is known for their economy, for their quality, and for good finishes and good floor plans. Uh, I think you'll see that as we walk through. You have vinyl clad windows for easy care. Your front door is recessed and out of the weather in this Donegal loft model. I really like their tinted uh, ceilings on the exterior and the colors and the decorations in this one are really beautiful. Of course, I'm interested in your opinion, so let's walk through and uh, see what you think. The uh, distinctive thing about this particular model is that it has your uh, primary bedroom and a second bedroom and an office on the first floor. One additional, uh, you have a big loft upstairs, overall three bedrooms, three baths, 2,417 square feet. Here in the foyer you have a recessed ceiling with a uh, light fixture. And this home has what's called the cottage style trim. It's again kind of a southern uh, and it, it is a premium. It is a premium choice. We'll go into that uh, process of the selections that you make as we go, but it's squared off. It, some people might call it a craftsman style. Down here they call it the cottage style trim. So the wainscoting in the foyer is included. You would have your choice of the classic or the cottage style. And this home has the, what's called the rough hewn or the, um, the, the, the composite flooring. It comes in various levels. And you would choose that level to keep it within your budget. But this color of wood floor, generically speaking, is so popular with the, it has kind of the reclaimed wood look. Uh, very popular these days. But you would choose your own flooring, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your own, um, and, and, and it could be carpet, it could be tile, different types of wood or composite. Let's just go on in and get an idea of what we're looking at here. Your stairway to the right takes us up to the loft. Your office is immediately here to the left. Through the double doors, we have a bedroom and a bath here to the front. We'll come back through these in more detail. And in the center living area of the house, we have a open contemporary floor plan, which is what all of you are looking for these days with the a big island and the one level island with the granite top. And that, of course, gives you a breakfast bar, which is lower than the traditional, when I say traditional, the way they used to build, the higher two-level islands. The builders these days, ladies and gentlemen, they're building these one-level islands. And the granite, of course, is beautiful. Now, when you build your Donegal loft, you'll choose your own countertops. It might be granite, it might be something else, silestone. stone. But you would choose it. In this case, a beautiful backsplash. A lot of these things are included the granite, the backsplash, you'll choose your kind of backsplash. Now again, I don't work for K. Havnanian, so I'm not quoting prices here, and I may get a few of these inclusions wrong. For instance, these cabinets may or may not be your included version. They may be uh, an upgrade, and I think they are. When you start getting into glass front cabinet doors, I believe that that's an upgraded cabinet. But the main takeaway here is that you would choose your interior finishes. They have what they call the gourmet kitchen option. And that's what you have here. What that does is it gives you this farm sink, which is so popular these days. And your upgraded hardware is something you can choose for. The um, gourmet kitchen option, as I recall, takes your microwave from over your range and it puts it over here with the oven on the side. Notice that we have stainless steel appliances. Your microwave being over here, 
The Gourmet Kitchen comes with a double oven. And of course the stainless appliances I believe are standard, but uh, again, these are things that you will choose. You'll choose your cabinets, you'll choose your colors, your appliances, all to fit within your budget. And to put this process into a, a quick summary, you'll choose the neighborhood you want, which in this case would be the Arbors and Hampton Lake. You would choose the model that you like, the floor plan that will meet your needs and has the size that you want with the number of bedrooms and baths and so forth. You choose your lot. Some of them have premiums, some of them have greater premiums than others. And then you go into the design center and you choose the different finishes and options that you might like. For instance, you take a, um, a, a um, tile floor as an example. You would choose then the color of tile that you like. Um, and they have designers there to help you. So all of that design work is done in one day and it's done with a professional helping you at no extra cost. So here we are in the living room and the living room is open to your dining area. All of this in turn open to the kitchen and this big great room then flows out to your backyard. Now in this case this is an option. This is what is sometimes called a telescopic sliding door. There's three panels, not just two in your typical sliding door. And this is an option. Your typical house will have just a swinging door or perhaps a sliding door. But notice how this opens onto the second panel, which in turn opens to the third panel. And this is a very popular option. And what that does is this opens up your house to the outside in just the biggest way. And in this model, you step out to a covered porch, which if you prefer it to be screened, is very easily done. Once again, they have the ceiling with the light blue panels, which is an old Southern tradition, I understand. Keep the evil spirits away. <laughs> Not that you have to believe in voodoo, but we've had a little bit of wind here, so I see that there's a plant that's blown over there. But these houses all back up to the woods, so you have lots of privacy. This is non-buildable land back here, so that'll remain that way forever. And since we're out here, we might as well go ahead and take a look at this from the, from the back. The covered porch on any model that you buy, ladies and gentlemen, means when it's integral to the house as this is, that you can screen, go for a screened option very easily. Now, you can see that these houses are close together to their neighbors. Well, this contributes to the lower price, obviously. And many of you who come to me uh, are retirees. You don't want a big yard to stay up with. Of course, many of you that come to me tell me that you want a new house. And if you're looking in, uh, for an upscale neighborhood uh, with good quality construction, one-stop shopping with everything included, well, uh, that's why we're here. This is why the Arbors has been a home run. Uh, it hits the bullseye for an awful lot of folks. Well, let's go back inside and continue our tour. I love new construction, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a former licensed South Carolina home builder. Uh, I have uh, been a broker for almost 40 years in the area here, but originally I was a home builder and I made the transition from home building over into brokerage probably about 36 years ago. Uh, and for 36 years I lived on Hilton Head Island and my wife and I moved to Bluffton about four years ago. And it only took me 36 years to get over Hilton Head Island, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but when I moved to Hilton Head, there really was no Bluffton to move to. Uh, all of that has changed. In, in a sense, these days, people generally vacation on Hilton Head Island, but then they retire or relocate to Bluffton because in Bluffton you have a selection of new homes. Uh, you get more home for your money. Uh, it's more of a real town as opposed to a vacation resort, and absolutely nothing wrong with Hilton Head Island, ladies and gentlemen, but 
I'm just saying that you do pay a premium to live on Hilton Head Island and in this price range you get an older style home, a smaller home, a uh, fixer upper. Well, when you contact me, we can go into more of those details. This is the primary bathroom, sometimes called the master bath. In this case, you see the tall cabinets. Everything is contemporary here. The granite top, the brushed metal hardware looking very good. The undermount porcelain sinks. Notice that the framed wall mirrors are the thing now. And as part of your design work with your new Donegal Loft or one of the other models that you would choose here in the Arbors, you would choose your uh, frame, you would choose your light fixtures. And in some cases you would decide whether or not you want a horizontal window like that or not. You can choose whether or not you'd like to have a shower and a tub or just a shower as this owner has chosen. And they've chosen for the tiled shower. Beautiful tile work here, floor to ceiling. That's the way to build a shower, right there. You notice the matching frame for our glass shower, our glass enclosure. And of course it has a little bench. Very nice job, very nice job. You would choose your tile. You would choose whether you'd like to have a tub and shower or just the shower. Well, many of you tell me you just want the shower. You have a little linen closet right here. Good thing to have. Your walk-in closet for him and for her. And again, the furniture in this house is not included. This is what's called staged, which is just to give you a little bit of an idea of how it might look if you were living here. And the Hilton Head home, the commode goes into a little closet. I call that the water closet. It is the mark of an upscale home to have that separation. This is a beautiful bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. All in this model, and we can build one for you. Now, when I say we, again, I don't represent K. Havnanian. I represent you as a buyer's agent. And that's done very easily because I'm only paid by the commission, which is already in the price of any new home that you build with K. Havnanian or any resale home that you buy and I'm only paid at closing if you buy and if you close. So it doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent on your side, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it makes it kind of a no-brainer, really. Um, and the commission that I earn as your agent is uh, the same as to whether you choose me with 40 years of experience locally or if you choose an agent that has no experience whatsoever. <laughs> your choice. Well, here's a last look at this, at this um, great room. Here we had, uh, I'll take a quick look over this way into the uh, laundry. You might be wondering that. First off, your pantry is over here and with the traditional wood shelves and that has a double door there for us. Notice in this house, another choice you'll make is the hardware. We have the lever handles here with the brush metal style looking good. Your laundry is over here and you would choose, I think these cabinets are standard but again that may be an option. The wire shelf may be standard. You would choose that. We have additional closet. Let's just take a look into the garage. Not that that's so important but it is a full two-car garage. Now they haven't completely backed out of here. It's very common to have a builder store a few items in the garage until it closes, which is gonna be very soon. But you have a full two-car garage. This is what's called a finished garage. Notice the sheetrock, the painted walls, and the baseboards. Your whole house water cutoff is over here. As a buyer's agent, I always recommend that we have any home inspected by a certified inspector. They always write that you should find your whole house cut off. And it's worth remarking that these are your hurricane shutters. Our houses here in Bluffton correspond to, they obey the Dade County hurricane standards. Uh, those also give you a insurance deduction, whether you deploy them or not as does being in a gated community give you an insurance deduction. 
and having a security system, which frankly you don't need, to give you an insurance deduction. Well, more about that when you call. There's so many things to talk about uh, with a new home and finding the right home and community for you. Here we look back towards the foyer. Let's just take one more look here in the office. Well located at an angle, bright room, big windows, high flat ceilings throughout the house, ladies and gentlemen. And I told you we'd come back to this second bathroom here. And again with the tile surround on your tub. Same quality that we saw in the primary bathroom. It's just smaller. It is your second full bathroom because it has both a tub and a shower. Beautiful panel doors. Tile floor. Composite or wood floors. You'll choose those. Our second bedroom is here at the front of the house. I love this cottage trim package with the Fancy lentils. Now fancy is uh, in the eyes of the beholder, I understand. Some people would think fancy has a different definition. Well, that's where the individuality comes in to these homes. You choose what you like. And so you can individualize this home. This is the state of uh, custom home building today, ladies and gentlemen. Very few people go to an architect these days and build a home from complete scratch and go through all of the time and the effort and the cost of building a complete custom home from scratch. That has evolved. That has evolved tremendously to where these national home builders are giving us the floor plans that we want, allowing us to customize them to our tastes within reason. They offer a portfolio of models and then they control costs so well through their volume. In this area, this has been a revolution because it used to be that the Hilton Head area was only for your most affluent buyer and to build a custom home was a very expensive proposition. Today, well, I'm not saying that $350,000 is, is not a small price. It certainly is. I work with many buyers who shop in a lower price range, for sure. And Bluffton has those homes, too. But when you get to an upscale, upscale community like this, Hampton Lake, three fifty dollars is your starter price. And to get a brand new home with this quality, well, that's why we're here. This is your third bedroom, which has a walk-in closet. And good size, good size room. It's adjacent to this loft with a third bathroom here. Same quality that we've seen. In this case, it is continued throughout the house. That is something that you can decide. How much luxury do you want to put into your house? Do you want to pay for it? Well, again, many of these things are included and standard. Now, for instance, Finishing off the loft by itself is an option. So when we say Donegal loft, you can build the Donegal without the loft. You can go with two bedrooms in the office downstairs. You don't have to have a bedroom and a bath up here, or you might have the bedroom without the bath. Lots of choices. Well, your mechanical room is through that door where your water heater and your air handler are located. And you have an additional attic access through here. Nothing like a new house, ladies and gentlemen. New appliances, new electrical, latest building materials. You have uh, the latest floor plans. Many of you come to me as a buyer's agent and you tell me that you just don't want to go through all the renovation process and putting on a new roof, having to worry about your heat pump. Well, there's nothing like a new home. Well, that's uh, the Donegal Loft, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
I think we've talked about quite a few things in this quick tour. Uh, we've talked about Hampton Lake, our award-winning community location here with uh, the navigable lake. Uh, it has a large community swimming pool with the lazy river feature that the kids love, a separate adult pool with the uh, gazebos that are Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, we have the restaurant on site. There's hard true tennis courts. Well, uh, and, oh, and the spa. Oh yes, yes, the spa with, uh, gee whiz, great fitness center, fitness central with the, um, uh, gosh, they have a wonderful spa there. This is an award-winning community and your entry level into this community is right here at the Arbors by K. Havnanian Homes. Um, please call me. Let's get acquainted. There's so much to talk about. Uh, there's more, of course, more opportunities here for you in Hampton Lake. I'll be happy to help you shop and compare. This is what I do in part as a buyer's agent. I help you shop. I help you solve problems, give you advice that you can trust based on my 40 years of local Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. So let, I'll give you my contact information. This home is one that another one of my clients is building right here and they live in Ohio. One of the questions you may have is how can you live in Ohio and build a home down here? <laughs> You're not here. Well, I'll tell you a couple of things. Number one, they do offer incentives for you, which is beside the fact they offer incentives for you here that we haven't gone into. And I haven't quoted exact prices too, by the way, because they do change and they have gone up and they will continue to go up. But the, the, um, they do also offer the opportunity to build a home uh, contingent upon selling your home that you're in now back in Ohio or New England. Uh, there are many opportunities for you to have a new home here, and I'm here to help you um, compare and evaluate all of those opportunities. So please call. Let's get acquainted. And my cell number, 843-684-2933. 843-684-2933. My email, rich at gogated.com. And my website is gogated.com. Well, this is the end of the street down here. This is the, the, the end of the arbors. You see there's a few vacant lots back here. This is what is remaining to be sold. Uh, this model here is for sale, the Berkeley, 2,770 square feet with an office on the first floor, a total of four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Well. Uh, what a great house that is. That's another one for sale today, just $349.9. Again, all of these homes are by K uh, Havnanian, nickname K Hav. I like K Hav, ladies and gentlemen. They build a good house for the money. And I'll certainly look forward to meeting you and invite you to give me a call so we can talk. I look forward to working with you as your buyer's agent here on Hilton Head Island or in Bluffton. So please call, let's get acquainted. What a great day in Bluffton, South Carolina. Bluffton is a great place to live, ladies and gentlemen. We're just about a half an hour to the beaches on Hilton Head Island. We're about a half an hour over to Savannah, Georgia. We're just about a half an hour to our county seat over in Beaufort, South Carolina. And our county is the 13th fastest growing county in the United States. Fastest growing county in the state. And really, most of that is because of what is going on right here in Bluffton. Bluffton is a great place to live. Wonderful restaurants. We have tremendous convenience beautiful semi-tropical climate. We have an excellent school system here in Beaufort County. Great shopping. We have the big box stores. We have Old Town. 
everything from little coffee bars to the big box stores, and there's more coming in uh, quite regularly. The question that is in the back of my mind is that with the build out of Bluffton on the horizon, I would say within five years, where will the demand go? Well, it'll go farther away, uh, but people want to be in Bluffton. So I would certainly encourage you to call. Let's talk about what you're looking for and I'm sure we'll find it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there are more available to you at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe and please call, please email. Thank you again for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed showing you this Donegal Loft today. This one and the Athens Loft are your most popular models here in the Arbors. Let's talk. Let's find the home for you. Thank you again.